Hi everyone. Today we're going to create a 3D PDF using Revit and Bluebeam. So what I have is a 3D electrical export, which I don't want to alter. It's basically just a 3D view of all the electrical equipment. So I want to duplicate that. I'm going to set it up now just so I can duplicate the view, rename it to 3D PDF. <clears throat> I don't want to change my view template I have applied. I'm going to close the electrical export then and I'm going to go in and duplicate my view template applied to call it my electrical 3D PDF because I just want to show the containment and the brackets here so I don't want to show any of the electrical equipment or fittings and I'm going to leave generic mods on that was a mistake so once I apply that then my lights and sockets will disappear now you can see a nice clean uh, containment um, view so now you go to your add-ins to your blue beam and you create a 3d PDF just select the folder of where you want it to go and I've just renamed it here doesn't take too long obviously the depending on the amount of details in it if I had left lights on for example and included other floors it would take longer but I just have it in a small model here just to show for an example this is the training file I always use and um, during this time I'd like to ask everyone to like and subscribe that'd be great thank you So now that it's saved, it'll generate and Bluebeam will open. Now, and the, there we go. So as you can see, the template has changed, but <laughs> so we've lost the colors. The template wasn't applied, but you can see the containment layout is the same. The brackets are there. You can pan around it then, being blue beam. You've got your settings if you want to make it transparent, or you know, you can mess around with, of course, the so you can make it much much darker. <clears throat> being blue beam, it just gives you kind of you know the options that you you'd have. So um, just flicking through here, we've got you know transform. We have uh. You know, so show section box pretty handy if you want to make it, you know, bigger or smaller. If maybe you only, only want to show one floor instead of two, and if your cross sections you have again, so some of the things you can mess around with. Just going through all the different settings, and uh, you know, you've got your plan, you have your zoom in and out, you have your camera. Don't really know why people use that one. I never do. Um, and then of course if you select it's a really nice thing it was actually a cool thing to add if you're doing college and yeah. anything in college projects just maybe including it just for a bit of you know something that somebody else might not have or probably won't have and it just gives you a real cool view of the you know in this case the cable trace just so you can see what's going on you know, you check out unique areas, a couple of unique kind of bends there and stuff if you wanted to show them off or explain why you had them or whatever. And the next part then is really important. So you want to make sure for this to work that you go to your Bluebeam administrator. So there you go, there your Bluebeam administrator. And you want to make sure in the Bluebeam administrator that you have ticked on the Revit. So you want to make sure that your Revit are, you know, ticked on. Otherwise, it won't.